dinoflagellates possess a cell wall, which is synthesized with a series of plates known as thecal plates. It may be round, it may have several horns, it may have an irregular shape. There is a groove around the equator of the dinoflagellate known as the cingulum, and a shorter longitudinal groove known as the sulcus. There are two flagella in a dinoflagellate. One, the transverse flagellum, goes around the organism through the cingulum. It provides forward motion and spin. The other, in contrast, runs through the sulcus and acts as a rudder. The chloroplasts of dinoflagellates possess chlorophyll A and chlorophyll C2, beta carotene, and then a group of xanthophyll pigments such as peridinin and others which are unique to dinoflagellates and give them a golden brown color. These chloroplasts are interesting. They possess three membranes, suggesting they probably arose from a secondary endosymbiosis. They possess only 16 genes on their chromosome, the smallest number in any eukaryotic plastid. It appears that many of the ancestral genes of this plastid were transferred to the nucleus, since many dinoflagellate nuclear genes are found only on the chromosomes found in the plastids in other eukaryote groups. And then there have been other algal endosymbioses in some dinoflagellates, which have created other types of plastids. Apparently, dinoflagellates have undergone more types of endosymbiosis than any other group.